Hey guys, it's Tupai, and uh, I noticed that in all of my mod releases and showcases, I always am in the Skywars lobby, and that's a little bit boring, you know, after a little bit. So I thought I'd spice it up, add a little bit of excitement to my videos, and uh, we're in the Bed Wars lobby today, so, you know, really going for the unpopular types here. But anyways, today... I'm going to be showcasing a mod by my boy, Boom Boom Power. Uh, very cool guy, great channel, great mods. Uh, go check him out in the description. Go subscribe to him. Okay, his channel is uh, Boom Boom Power. I'll, I'll put a link right in the description. Like, it's not that hard. Probably the first or second line, I'd bet. Um, just click it, then press subscribe. It's, it's like ridiculously easy, and it will be a net positive for you based on the effort it takes. So anyways... I should probably uh, tell what the mod does before I start shouting him out because y you don't know if he's like amazing yet or not, but you know, just take my word for it, okay? Anyways, uh, this is the toggle chat mod. Now you might know that a while ago I uh, made a mod for Tabor um, that was a toggle chat mod. Now the problem with that mod, well first of all, there were a number of problems, but maybe the number one problem is that it doesn't work anymore. So that's that's a little bit of an issue, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but th this is not a mod by me, I should be very clear about that, because every time I showcase a mod on my channel, um, people just assume that I made it, but that's not always the case. In fact, I'm lazy enough that that's usually not the case. But, um, yeah, this is by Boom Power. We've been over that, right? <laughs> we got that down. You guys, I think, can manage that much information at one time. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, I made a mod for Tabor a while ago. A toggle chat. If you ever looked at the code for that mod and know what you're doing with code, you'll know that it was an absolute disgusting shitfest. Like, it was, it was ugly. It was maybe one of the worst coded mods I've ever made, so it kind of stopped working after a little bit, after uh, Hypixel's chat update and everything. Um, but anyways... Boom Boom Power also made a mod uh, around the same time that I did. I wasn't aware that his existed but I, I still made one. Uh, but his, he kept updated, because um, I never actually keep my mods updated because I'm lazy. So basically, what you're going to do for this mod is slash TC, and uh, this is the nicer GUI that he's made. Um, personally, and I'll be honest, this is my honest opinion, you don't have to agree, but I'm not a fan of this whole thing with like the shades of white and all that. It, it's a little bit not the greatest <laughs> in my personal opinion but that's just me you might love it you might love it so um you can see he's got a really uh easy to understand thing with explanations for everything um but you can just hover over it and it it will toggle um so join enabled if you want to turn off the player join and player leave messages um this is a really easy way to do it you don't need like an extra mod um, you can turn off just team messages if you want to do that for some reason. Uh, you can turn off guild messages. Uh, you can turn off party messages. Like, I don't need to go down the list. It's pretty easy to understand. But one thing I should mention, probably, is that uh, you can turn off Bedwars and UHC messages, which is just like the ones with the stars. But you can also turn off global chat, and that will include the UHC Bedwars messages. So, if for some reason you wanted to just turn off those two, instead of everything, you could. I, I'm not exactly sure why he includes that. But, you know, he's got a lot of options. You can do whatever you want. Um, you can do housing, uh, colored team. I guess that's in, like, um, I don't know, some some other game ones like Bed Wars. Uh, messages, party invite, spectator, lobby join. This one's actually really nice. You can turn off the MVP joining messages. Like, like you see that? Stampy, Babu, TU2, whatever the fuck his name is. If you turn this off, you'll never see him again. It's great. Um, friend request is pretty nice mod, or I mean, pretty nice feature. If you're, uh, if you get a lot of friend requests and, oh, oh, okay, I see how it is. Hi, Pixel. Don't want me to record in the Bed Wars lobby, do you? Jesus, man, I hate that so much. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Bedwars uh, lobby is even spammier than Skywars lobby one lobby, so I kind of came in here to also show uh, turning off what's it called global chat. If you turn it off, it's just gone. It's amazing. 
Why are people following me? Oh my gosh, I gotta delete my friends list. This is so annoying. But anyways, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Spectator, like a lot of these are very specific. Um, and I guess sometimes you might need them, but mine only had like five. So this is really a upgrade here. Also, another cool feature he has is the whitelist feature where you can just, if let's say, um, let's just find someone who's constantly chatting. Looks like toxic diamonds, toxic diamonds is chatting a lot. So let's say we want to add him to our whitelist. Uh, we can press add and we can list and we can see everything. Now, if we go uh, over here and turn off global chat, uh, assuming he types, come on, we're relying on you, Toxic Diamonds. I believe in you. You can type some crap into the chat. <laughs> All right, maybe he's not gonna type, but it, you could. You get the concept, right? It um, it would be pretty easy to just add like your friends or high pixel staff or something if you only want to see their messages. Um, which, I mean, if, you, if you're into that, you can do it. So, uh, one thing I would like to see him add, I'm not, I don't think he has it, is, like, turning off of these messages, like, found mystery boxes, found all this crap. Um, oh yeah, you can see when the dividers are removed, that, like, usually there's a, that line, those two lines, before and after party invite message, those are removed because I, um, turned off these separators, which I kind of like, actually. I'll keep those on. But, anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty intuitive mod, pretty basic stuff. I'm glad that he made it so I didn't have to, like, you know, go in and actually fix my mod, God forbid. Um, but if you, also, if you want to clear your thing, I'm not sure why he, um, doesn't have, like, a thing where you can just remove, oh, Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So you can remove, like, one user. If I, say, added myself or something, then I can remove myself. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, if you're into those GUI things, uh, you know, this is going to be good for you. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan in the world, like I've said. But, you know, it's, it's a good mod. It's a very good mod. And, uh, yeah, go, go give Boom Boom Power some love. Download in the description. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good uh, Thanksgiving week. Hopefully you guys have a break. I don't really, but, you know, over the break I'll be uploading a little bit. I have like a five-day break, uh, including weekends, so three days off, which I guess is normal. So, yeah, I'll be trying to upload a little bit more than once a week, which is like my normal thing right now. I even upload less than once a week, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not a very good YouTuber, clearly. Anyways, anyways, thank you for watching. Like I've said, download it in the description. Go check them out. Go check everything out. Alright, see you guys.